Please welcome a program manager from DARPA's Defense Sciences Office, Dr. John Main. Hi, good afternoon. Uh, my name is John Main. I'm from the DARPA Defense Sciences Office. Uh, I'm here today as a representative of the ragged edge of science and technology in the service of national security. Um, and the Defense Sciences Office is where material science started six decades ago, 3D printing started two and a half decades ago, and brain controlled prosthetics actually started over a decade ago. And I'm actually here today to talk to you about something else, which is to invite you to a demonstration that's happening down in the exhibit hall. This demonstration is called Polyplexus. And it's a fundamentally new approach to accelerating innovation. And we want to accelerate innovation the DARPA way. Uh, but before I talk to you about Polyplexus, I want to talk to you a little bit about why the Defense Sciences Office is interested in Polyplexus. The Defense Sciences Office, we've come to a conclusion in the office that the world's changing in a very fundamental way. And like DSO did with material science, like we did with brain control prosthetics, like we did with 3D printing, we want to get ahead of that change. And the change I'm talking about is this very real phenomena that technology is now a global phenomenon with global consequences. The world is now, uh, the technology now is, can emerge from anywhere. You've got technologies like Linux and Bitcoin that appear from around the world and propagate like crazy. It's important to realize that this change that's happening is really, it's an, it's an entirely new world. We've never had anything like this happen before. And it's really important for the Defense Sciences Office to try to get ahead of that change. Uh, as, I, as I think about what's going on in R&D in the world today, um, it's pretty clear that the United States is doing some things very, very well. It's also clear that we can do some things a lot better. Assimilation of scientific information is slow, right? Especially if you get outside of your, of your specific discipline, assimilation of, new, of emerging scientific information is extremely slow. Stovepipes are rampant. Innovation truly is the exception rather than the rule. And, and that's really today's reality. What we're trying to get after in Polyplexus is doing really what DARPA does all the time, and that's this recurring cycle of disruption and focus. This cycle works for DARPA. DARPA is actually very well known as being disruptive in the technology space, but what DARPA really, really does is provide a huge amount of focus in the midst of an ongoing disruption. That's the process that we're trying to capture in, in Polyplexus. So what DSO is trying to do is to make sure that yesterday's reality of stovepipes and slow assimilation of scientific information doesn't become tomorrow's reality. It's an online platform, and then on that online platform, we want to disrupt the information that you see, and we want to disrupt how you think. At the same time, we want to allow you to focus on an idea and get that idea in front of a sponsor. Those are really the two fundamental elements of Polyplexus. At the core of Polyplexus is a rigorous, online, collaborative evidence analysis. It's important to understand what Polyplexus is. That analysis is pointed at understanding where science is today and where it's likely to go tomorrow. This is, Polyplexus is not an idea generator. It's not a problem solver. It's something entirely new. And I'm happy to say that, that you know, this sounds like something that we, we could get in the future that might be coming down the pike, it's actually here. Last week, we had the first three fundamental research awards get funded due to the heroic efforts of our contracts management office. They actually got finished last week, uh, and, our, and th that funding is flowing toward universities that are pursuing ideas that came out of the disruptive conversation that happens on Polyplexus. We anticipate making 30 more fundamental research awards emerging from Polyplexus over the next two years. So if, if you want to write a proposal that's got more emerging, newly emerging scientific information in it, if you're in a business and you want to understand how emerging science is going to impact you, or if you just want to write a better proposal and get it in front of a potential research sponsor, then I urge you to come down to the Polyplexus, the Polyplexus exhibit. Um, when you go into the exhibit hall, 
you look across the large, the large exhibit area, about two thirds of the way down, there's a large climbing tower. The polyplexus exhibit is right on the other side of that. It's easy to find. So please come by and we'll explain to you how all of this is gonna happen. And, and keep in mind that polyplexus is not intended to be, and it, and it is not just another innovation platform. It's the DARPA of innovation platforms. Right, the output of polyplexus is a research proposal. And ultimately, polyplexus is about accelerating US innovation, hopefully accelerating US innovation to a pace that no one else can match, which is, you know, which is key to economic security, it's key to national security, and it's key to our future. So thank you very much.